your love life is doomed if your bed is too narrow. Yep, the clever guys say that poor quality sleep can lead to divorce. I do believe the science here because I remember one long night myself. There was a battle for the blanket. I lost and almost froze to death. Stop giggling. It's not that funny. My better half is a fighter, and I'm a wimp. Next morning, I ordered the largest possible mattress I could fit in our bedroom. Go big, or don't get married. Caught you staring at the screen. Hi, I bet your posture is awful right now. I don't have to be a fortune teller to see you having back problems in a couple years. Luckily, you can adjust your sitting position in the blink of an eye. Step one, take a towel. Step two, roll it. Step three, place it under the small of your back. This uh, device will prevent slouching and support your spine's natural curve. You're welcome, and I do take checks and credit cards. After a hard week of work, many Chinese people will put on their PJs Friday and wear them until Monday. It's called weekend mode. They go out, shop, and even dine at restaurants like this. So cozy, I'll have to give it a try myself. Hopefully, though, I won't get more weird looks from my family and neighbors than I get anyway. The bigger your plate, the more you'll chew. That's the first rule of the Curvy Club. But if you want to quit it, throw out your oversized plates. Food looks bigger on smaller plates, and you'll end up eating less. But it's not just the size of the plate that matters. Colors play a big role, too. And if you want to shed more of those extra pounds, pick plates whose colors contrast the most with your food. Otherwise, the colors blend together and the food gets camouflaged, so the portion doesn't appear that large. I know that some of you take your little sensor friend to the bathroom for company during that private process. Sorry, air fresheners. You're a thing of the past. I doubt I'll surprise you with the fact that, after such pursuits, Using our phones is like putting the toilet to our ear and talking. It's that dirty. But maybe the risk that you're more likely to get hemorrhoids will make you leave your phone outside of the throne room and spend less time in there. Open Google, type in Tesla logo, and check out the results. Guess what it's based on? Some believe the female reproductive system inspired designers. Others suggest the logo is a cat nose. Even Elon Musk confirmed that on Twitter. After researching these, the truth is much more boring. The logo design is a section of an electric engine that was invented by Tesla himself. A dictionary of primary baby sounds exists. You can start using it right away with your new baby. No confusion mode is on. For example, yeah. means, I'm hungry. Be aware of, yeah. That's your baby saying, I'm going to burp. And if you hear, Ehh. jump out of the room, there's a gas attack looming. It's not a joke. An Australian pediatrician has been studying and researching early sounds of babies from different nationalities for more than 20 years. I think we can trust her. Cucumbers used to be quite toxic. No one ate them because, you know, it usually ended up badly. Instead, people from India cultivated them and used them as medicine. The cucumbers we eat today grow longer and have a higher water content, making them good for a low-calorie diet. Mm-mm-mm, so healthy and yummy. Let's play Guess That Product! It's great for bonding in infant care, but while in it, babies are kept in the unhealthiest of positions, with their legs held straight and their knees and hips stretched out, placing a lot of tension on their little spines. Contestants, choose your answers. Yep, it's a baby carrier. I know that it has tons of benefits. That's why I'm not asking you to avoid them. But I would say choose one with a wider base so your kid's legs can be in the much safer M position. Body language says a lot about a baby's well-being. For example, if your kiddos are clenching their fists, it's a sign of hunger. din din time! But if you see them jerking their arms, they're frightened. A loud sound or even bright light can provoke that startled reflex, which means a little comforting from you is in order. 
In one Indonesian community, a married couple isn't allowed to go to the bathroom for three days after being wed. If they do, it's considered bad luck for their marriage. Eh. Not the biggest price to pay for living happily ever after, right? The newlyweds are given small amounts of food and water, and their family members are always around to check on the amount of good luck attracted, which sounds better than playing bathroom guard. Your eyes may change color, but only once, doctors claim, if you're a newborn. Oh, I'm sorry, it won't be in your case. But I do have something to cheer you up. There is a theory that the color of our adult eyes may change depending on our diet. For example, honey can add warm hues to our peepers, while seafood can intensify their color. The other foods that can do this magic are olive oil, onions, and nuts. Makeup has real power. Not just because you can turn into anyone with it, but because it can play our brains like a puppet. Check it. Without makeup, a woman sees her face with makeup on as the face of a different person. But while she's wearing her makeup, she'll feel that same made-up face as her very own. Makes you wonder about clowns. Ugh, scary. Here's a life hack for those bad at math amongst us. You can multiply by nine using your hands. Look at your palms and imagine that each finger has its own number from 1 to 10, from left to right. Next, find the finger that corresponds to the number you want to multiply by 9 and bend it. The finger left of the bent finger will be the digit for the tens place, and the finger to the right will be the ones. Wow! Posting images of your kids or relatives on social media can put them at risk. Look! I've stumbled upon a random picture of a first grader in a school uniform. The photo is very sweet. I see tons of likes and nice comments, too. But if I weren't just a stranger and was, let's say, a predator, I'd be able to identify the school the child is attending simply by seeing the uniform. Each time I try to cook rice, I get a sticky, non-edible rice ball mess. If you're like me and inept in the kitchen... I want to share a small trick I just learned. Any type of rice should be rinsed three or even four times before cooking. Not once, not twice, don't be that lazy, because the main sticky danger hides not in the dust as you may think, but in the starch. It causes the rice to clump together and look disgusting. Morning showers help you rinse off your sleepiness and not climb back into your cozy bed. But evening showers help you wash off the tiredness of the day, as well as bacteria, sweat, grime, and just, ew. Besides, who wants to get into a clean bed dirty? Blech. But shouldn't you be able to enjoy both? Well, too much water dries and cracks your skin, which can let in viruses and bacteria. There's just no winning. Bought a new pair of shoes and they're just too big? Have a baby. Researchers always have new discoveries for us, and they're whispering that pregnancy may increase your foot length by 2 to 10 millimeters. The hormone relaxin is the culprit. It makes your joints and tendons more flexible, but only on your first pregnancy. So, if you already have kids, or you're a guy, you're just gonna have to take the shoes back. Bumpers in babies' cribs are so cute. They make me want to have one instantly. Right now. Give me a baby! That didn't come out quite right. Anyway, experts warn that these toys can become a nightmare for kids. First of all, they increase the risk of sudden infant death syndrome. Do I really need to say more? Just keep all the things that can cover a baby's face away from their bed. There are different cries your baby may use to attract your attention. For example, the calling cry. A newborn cries for 5 to 6 seconds and then pauses for 20 seconds, waiting to see if it worked. If the parent doesn't respond, then the cycle will repeat itself again and again and just get them the first time they're persistent. But here is the way to recognize a cry of pain. It's monotonous, loud, and constant. There can even be hysterical bursts indicating that the pain is increasing. 